Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin today, uh, I want to let you know a few things. I've recorded a ton of this, actually, but uh, I've been running into a lot of technical difficulties, and most of that footage was unusable. What you're going to see is basically all that I had that I could use. It will be presented in chronological order, obviously. This is the most recent stuff. What you're about to see is what I recorded, like, yesterday or something. I've, I've had multiple victories that you guys aren't going to see, and in my opinion, that means they don't count. Right? If you guys don't see the wins, then it doesn't matter. Because I could sit here and tell you guys how I won every single f match I went in and I only used the leper. I could just be making it up. But we're going to cut to that. And then once that's done, we'll cut back to now and then we'll see how this goes. But on that note... Warning, I swear a lot. All right. So round one went well. We won. This is great. I am happy. But we can't just end this... On one fight. The See if we can go two for two. Obviously, it's still not a perfect build. Obviously, there are still things we can do to upgrade it, but I want to see if consistently we are moving in the right direction. Now, the easy thing to do, of course, would be to just have the man arms and flagellant and and fucking abomination in there as well, but to the spilling of blood. instead of just doing that, I want to try and create something, maybe implement aspects of those heroes without actually just using all of them. I want to play around with the Man at Arms because I like the Man at Arms. It just pisses me off that they're so overpowered. Well, they're not overpowered, but maybe they're easy to use. Perhaps that's the issue. They're a bit too easy to use. I don't know. But this person is a lower rank than us, which makes a nice change. Look at that. That's crazy. Is the capture going to break? I'm expecting it any second. Ah, this would be interesting. Okay, I'm going first because I'm the let's player. That's how this always goes. We know this by now. I need to remember how to play. Uh, for some reason, I've forgotten how to play. They went first. Okay, yes. So I want to do it this way. Yeah, invigorating vapors. Get our dodge started so that we're working on even footing. And they might miss us if they try stuff. Probably target that plague doctor because their dodge sucks. Yep, they do. Man at arms would also be a good choice, but we'll be targeting them with zealous accusation anyway, so that works out. They can probably cure blight, but that's honestly the blight damage itself is not the strength of this pie. I see what you're doing. I don't see what you're doing. I thought you were going to mark. Just get the buffs going. Extra dodge, extra protection. They'll have a rough time doing anything to us. Well, they won't, actually, because we're not protected from stress, and the Plague Doctor does nothing but stress. But, once again, like clockwork, they target the, anti the uh, Vestal. They always target the Vestal, every fucking time. And she is the least useful member of our pie. By far, actually, because the Antiquarian can heal as well. She is literally there to be a target. And if they're going to target us with stress, all the better, because I gave a Nepenthe as well. Are they going to go for it? Are they stupid? Yep. Like clockwork, they will go for the Vestal. Now, how is their stun resist? Yours is pretty low. Yeah, we'll go this way. We'll go this way. We'll go this way and see how it goes. They will target her without fail, and they will think me foolish for such a move until they realize that the Vestal is really not meant to survive the battle. Really not. In fact, I gave her an Ankh of Life for a reason. If you knock him back too, it's fine. That's actually also fine. You can see what they're doing, of course. They're trying to prevent her from healing. But it won't do as much as they think it will. Get some of this going. Because it's worth mentioning, actually, that the longer we keep the Vestal alive, the more she can do. Or the more, more point, more damage she can take. She can keep tanking their hits. If they keep targeting her. Which it seems like they will. Yep, they're just going to go for her. They're just going to 100% go for her. They think they've made a big... Maybe they have made a big smart. I am being way too cocky right now, like... Maybe need to calm down a little bit because it's still the start of the fight and this could go in any direction. Yes, the Vestal lives to be murdered in this party, but also having someone who lives to be murdered and do very little else means they're not especially useful. And 
aren't contributing to the party as a whole, so that is kind of a weakness as well. She is good. The Vestal's good. No one's going to say the Vestal ain't good. But... Maybe not that good. And she's on death's door. Sure. Becoming unwound. The sacrificial stab. Ah, versus afflicted. I see, I see. Yes, yes, I do see. Okay, well, yes, very good. Okay. Let's just have a quick look at our odds. Okay, yes, very good. Fuck, 85% chance indeed. Not what you want to see. They're going to go for the kill. You gonna go for the kill? No. But you are gonna make it easier for them to kill. Yeah, 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 you are, yeah, you are. So we can either try and heal her, which might not be a bad idea. Or go for the attack. We're not doing a lot of attacking at the moment. Actually, this would be the best move, so she can do her thing again. But also, if he kills her, that's gonna be quite annoying. That would have completely fucked us in this circumstance. I can't try and protect her too much. There's no point. And we need to make sure we're actually fighting them. Oh, fuck, it's my turn. Oh, dumbass, it's me. I didn't realize it was my turn. I was waiting for him to do something. Okay, yeah, now we're back. We're back, we're back. It's fine, it's fine. I'm thinking if I get her to use panic darts on the Plague Doctor and then her use rejuvenating vape or uh, the other one, the bad one. Six damage, yep. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. Okay, she hasn't lost any death's blow resistance yet. No, she hasn't. So I'm going to do a little bit of offense for now. They'll probably land one hit on her and she'll probably be fine. And then we'll use our Crusader to help her out a bit. She's on death's door. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Are you going to try and heal you? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. But it's not going to save you from what's to come, I'm afraid. No, it won't. <laughs> oh, you foolish fool. Look what's happened to you. You're, oh, you've been resolve tested. And you're selfish. You're a selfish person. Yes. Self-preservation is paramount at any cost. At any cost. Any cost. You gonna go for the kill? You gonna go for the kill? Yeah, you are. She's still alive, though. She's fine. Ah, yeah, and she's gonna start stressing people out. Excellent. And then, oh, what if we just make things a little more awkward for them? She's back. You still stand, fight on. Now, she has lost some death bro resist- Bro? Death bro. She's lost some resistance, so this won't last forever, but it does slow them down because they're still really trying for it. They're still really trying for it, and she has the last move this turn, but that's fine. I have an idea. Can you use lunge from that position? No, you can't. That's really annoying, but that's still okay. How ghouling will it be if we kill one of them before they kill one of us, considering how hard they've targeted the Vestal, right? I think that will upset them greatly. I'm quarantined. She passed her turn. Exactly what I wanted her to do. Lovely jubbly. I like the... Actually, those are terrible odds, but fuck it. We can always just give her a heart attack. You gonna use him to try and do something? You gonna try and do something? Oh, did you give him a healing spell? Did you actually give him a healing spell? I'm not seeing you use a healing spell. Terrible vistas of Why didn't you give him a heal? Oh, he does have stitching embrace. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, let's fuck with them. Let's continue to fuck with them. Maintain our advantage. We're doing just fine. They'll probably hit her again. She'll go down to death's door. Then she'll take her damage over time, which doesn't proc death's door. And then she'll heal herself thereby further slowing down their attempts to kill us. As if by clockwork, that is exactly what they've done. She is gaining stress, but if she goes virtuous, then that will fuck with them even further. So now she's only taking four damage per turn, which is just lovely. And she's fine now. <laughs> she's fine now. She can keep going. 
Sure, he's probably going to hit her, but it's another wasted attack. It would appear he bought a clue. It would appear they finally bought a clue. Might be too little too late, however. Oh, close, close. Close, it's very close, it's very close, very close. Yeah, they've bought a clue. Don't worry, I still have an idea. This will finish him. Yep, there it is. Good. And then we'll have the Crusader heal Hallie, and then we'll have the Vestal do a group heal. If everything goes according to plan, which, you know, sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. You gonna go for her? Oh, you actually did get, you did get a healing spell. I didn't see it. Fair enough. But we are in a confident, forward, advantageous position, and I suggest we try and hold on to it. Going from four to three ain't so bad because you like your action economy is still pretty good. It's when you go from three to two that you start struggling. Yeah, yeah, you're on death's door, but you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What are you worrying about? You're fine. A momentary abatement. I love this music so much. I think it's some of uh, Stuart Chadwick's best work. Yep, she's on death's door. Yeah, she's on death's door. Do not fall. Now, how do we play this? Perhaps a little more simply than you might expect. And she's back. Even if we used all three of these characters for healing, which I probably won't, but even if I did, Hallie herself can still attack. So we are in a position of strength and we should hold on to it. Start working them down. They have, don't seem to have any way to heal their stress. You knock him back, it doesn't matter. That actually doesn't matter. In fact, that might work to our advantage. Pestering Vapors. We're going to have to keep hitting them because we need them to... We need them to suffer a bit. We can't just turtle up, of course. How much blood are you taking? Four? Five? You're doing all right. If you dodge this, that'd be pretty cool, but I doubt you will somehow. 35 dodge. That's not bad. Ah, plot twist. Except you missed. You missed the person who doesn't dodge very well. I spy an opportunity. I spy an opportunity. I spy an opportunity. Yes, I do. I, I see an opportunity at hand. Ah. Uh, well, it didn't kill, but he's not in a comfortable position. And he quit. You know what? Now, I don't think that was a particularly strong opponent, right? He was a lower rank than me. Let's get that out of the way immediately. But even low rank people in this game can perform quite well. But that guy, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna actually insult them because that's not fair. Because I suck at this game. But definitely weren't making some of the um, more key moves. I think you know they didn't really assess the situation. Like gr credit to them, they figured out that Halley was the true threat later on. You know, they sort of sussed that and were like, oh, okay, actually the grave robber is the problem. But I have noticed a lot of the time my opponents will target the Vestal. Every single time they see Vestal, they see Healer. And when they see Healer, they see, fuck that, that needs to go. Which does make sense. That is smart. That is an, an intelligent thought process. However, most either realize she's not the true threat and go after someone else, or they're competent at taking down single targets and drop her really quickly. At which point, their their assessment, their tactic was actually a success. Because they dropped us so quickly, we lost a party member, we're in trouble already. But if they don't manage to drop her within like, I want to say the first two turns, thanks to her healing spells, thanks to regeneration from the Antiquarian, thanks to Rally to the Flame from the Crusader, they start to gain diminishing returns. The longer they spend trying to kill Wadded, 
the more time Pally has to fuck them up with panic darts. And it just keeps going and keeps going, more blight, more stress, until eventually it's too late to come back. They realize they should target Hallie, but it's too late. She's already done too much damage. And if we're keeping on top of the healing relatively okay, often the Crusader and all the Antiquarian can help as well and join in on the offense. And you just apply enough pressure that they either turtle up or desperately lash out and then eventually die because there's not a lot they can do. It's not a perfect team. This is not a perfect strategy. It kind of goes out the window if anyone decides not to target Wadded. Although if they targeted uh, Alice instead, we could pretty much run the same strategy. But Antiquarians are infamously difficult to hit. So people don't tend to go after them. They tend to go after the Vestal because the Vestal has low dodge. But we have kind of tried to account for that by increasing her death blow resist and giving her additional dodge on death's door. Once again, it's not perfect, but I'm quite pleased with this. I did save this party, didn't I? I'm going to overwrite this. There we go. Misfortune. Warning. I swear a lot. All right. Welcome back. Okay. So we got that win. That was very nice. I'm very pleased actually with how the Antiquarian has sort of molded into the group. She's been very helpful. The Vestal makes for a shockingly effective punching bag. May just target her all the time. I'm wondering if Nepenthe is worth it, though. It might be worth going for more physical resistance. But we don't have a lot we can do in terms of physical resistance. Like, yeah, plus 20% protection is good. And I guess the extra 10% stress dealt for, like, dazzling light and illumination could be really handy. I mean, I don't know. It's only one extra point of stress. I don't think it matters that much. Hmm. I gave Espec numbing incense so that he'd resist stun more because they tend to target the Crusader with stun and then they target the Vestal with damage. I'm going to try giving her the Pit Fighter's Helm again. I think that might suit her better. Because if we use it in conjunction with Espec's uh, Bulwark of Light, she would have 40% protection with increased dodge. Which means they're going to target her anyway, because she's the Vestal, but it will take even longer for them to kill her, and she's also got an 83% death blow resist. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. The demands a now, unfortunately, so far, the only thing you guys have seen is me wail on that person who was a lower rank than me and didn't quite know what they were doing. You know, I've been there, not judging them at all. I really want to get two wins in a row on camera. That's what I want. That's what I really want. But... I've, I've lost so much footage. I just don't think it's going to happen, right? Everything's worked out in such a way that there's no way I'm going to get it. I'm going to lose this, and then we're going to be back to one win, one loss per video. The rabble thrills to the spilling of blood. Especially since this person appears to be darkest, because there aren't that many people playing. They wanted to match me up with someone. I did this before, actually, and it matched me up with the AI. Like, it just set me up with a practice fight. And that was weird, and it was a real waste of my time. All right, let's see what they got. What are you running with? Interesting. Oh, God. Oh, I see two problems immediately. And I know the Grave Robber is tough, and I go first because I'm the Let's Player. And that's how it goes. Okay. I'm going to keep glancing at that capture because I do not want to lose another recording. I'm getting real sick of it. Okay, so we, we got first turn, usual tactics. We start with the extra dodge. We're on even footing for this first turn. Near enough. Uh, they've got a little bit more. But if they decided to go aggressive on their first turn because they didn't need to go defensive, this stops them from doing so. You're going to transform. I understand this about you. You do a slam. He resists the move. If you're going to go for big damage, then we're going to go for big damage negation. There we go. Interesting that I've just said all that shit and immediately we're fighting someone who is not targeting our Vestal. Also, I took off her stress relieving thing and now uh, they're doing stress. Festering fear consumes the mind. Can you bypass stealth? No, you can't. Okay, well then I've got my plan. The rebel throne demands its portion. And then the next panic dart is going to hit like an absolute truck. But this guy has some tactics. He's doing some stuff. I'm not a fan. Panic darts. Yes, I would recommend. I think we could do with perhaps taking one of their turns away. 
Particularly that abomination needs to stop doing things. And what are you gonna do? Bello? Yeah, you are. He could easily be targeted with stress because he's got a lot of protection. So I think that's how we're gonna want to play it. Good start. Good fucking start. He's already got 55 stress. Excellent fucking start, actually. If we can send him over, it will disrupt his bellows. And if we have the Crusader using um, Zealous Accusation, now send the fucking Abomination over eventually. And he'll struggle. Gnawing uncertainty. The birthplace of dread. We could be on to something. We just gotta, we gotta keep, we gotta keep to the path. Just gotta keep doing it. Does she still get, uh, I don't know if she gets her extra shit. Mm. Yeah, they're gonna send the Vestal over, which is unfortunate. The one time I took the Penth off her. The one time. Yeah, we're gonna do it this way. I wanna start getting Festering Vapors going. I would, like, double down more on, like, um, Invigorating Vapors and stuff, but it's just not increasing our dodge chance that much. I just don't consider it worth relying on. This will probably send a Vestal over. Yeah, yeah, she's gone. She's gone. Irrational. Which, uh, which means she could do fucking anything, I suppose. It's light in the stones and in the smiles of flies, which makes no fucking sense to me, but whatever. Do whatever you want. Let's get some healing out of her while she's still alive. We'll see how long it lasts. But he skips his turn. Very good. Yeah, if you get your zealous accusation out, then we could hit the abomination with panic darts, potentially send them both over. Also, the damage on their fucking abomination is real. He's irrational as well. All right, we're on even footing. The mind cannot hope to it's a fair fight. Such an assault. Let's see what he's got. You're gonna panic darts? Yeah, you're gonna panic darts, aren't you? Yeah, you're gonna pa Yeah, it's what I would do. It's what I would do. It's what I would do. Wow. Did you just, why did you take so much more stress? What the fuck happened there? That was a lot of stress. There can be no hope in this hell. No hope at all. She didn't use Shadow Fade. She doesn't have... Yeah, only 10% extra. I don't... Okay, fine, whatever. It's the video game. You just gotta play it. Please don't skip your turn. She's taking a lot of stress per turn. A singular strike. That will do it. The sharp things always find the soft things. Ah. Oh. Oh, good. Okay, well, we're still even then, I guess. Fearful. Excellent. I think he's likely to skip his turns. I don't know. It's possible. Alright. Alright, it's interesting. It's interesting. That, um... Their, their, their fucking uh, cultist is putting some work in, though. That horror is real. That is real stress. Shit, dude. Fuck, man. These two, well, she's going to go over soon, that's for sure. So we need to start working on everyone else. He's got five health, which means he'll go down to death's door. He'll probably use that ability that allows him to stress heal and generally heal. He did his own thing, but command is honestly a good ability, so I don't think he's really lost much there. That's good, that's good. You'll love to see it, you'll love to see it. It might just keep things going for a little while longer. If we can kill the Abomination, that'd be a big help. But I'd be, a, I'd be shocked if he didn't You What? You could have saved him, man. What are you doing? I mean, uh, okay, I guess that does make it worth it. You've got extra death blow deal chance right now, so now would be the time to do it. 25%, 45%. Close, but no Siggy. But it did have an effect. And we could use uh, our Crusader jump forward, and Holy Lance might be able to kill him. If we can kill one, if we can kill that abomination, 
We put them in an awkward position. I say we go for it. Ah, that doesn't work. Okay, well, fine. There's other things we can do. Send him on death's door too. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. I was kind of hoping that stress wanted someone else out as well. Just a little bit more stress, but if he doesn't heal, we can use festering vapors. That's good. He's stressing himself out too. He might be about to heal himself. I wouldn't blame him if he did. Right, that's smart. That's smart. But he can't do that forever. Now she goes over, which is unfortunate, but it's not as if there was anything we could do about it, so... It all comes down to luck now. That didn't count as a death blow because it didn't do any damage, which is really unfortunate. I suppose we can use Mace Bash. Or we could try and stun her because she's causing problems. Ugh, it's a tricky situation. She can't heal right now, so... Yeah, try it. Fucking cosmic. Wow, 25% chance. I'll take it. Alright, that helps. Alright, that helps big time. Okay. We got a thing. Maybe we can do it. She is very close to going over. In fact, we want her to take her turn immediately. Because if she's going to have a heart attack, we don't want it to be on her turn. From the loftiest heights to the blackest deeps. She scares everyone. Whatever. You're more likely to hit the occultists, so probably... Ah, but she's... They're both doing damage. But I want to make sure I'm landing the hits. If the... If the Grave Robber is the last one left, at the very least she can be dealt with. If she's forced to the front, she can't use Panic Darts anymore, for instance. I see, I see. Didn't need that crit. Did not need that crit. Set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Hmm. Yeah, and he's about to go over, and he doesn't have anything to increase his virtue chance, so naturally he went over as well. Not surprised, not remotely surprised. Madness. Thought death would be oh, honorable. Well, you're in a fucking blood sport fighting pit, mate, so yeah. Now you see how strong I am? Ah, he scared them. Good. Keep yourself alive. If you fall. Perched now he's gone down again. Might just use absolution again. Yeah, it makes sense. I see now. Shadows of the Children of Light. I, uh, well, I mean, if you'd hit, that would have been great. But you didn't. And she just had a heart attack. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. What a lovely trail of breadcrumbs. Fucking sure, why not? Um... Or could you take cover? Then again, stress would... Stress is literally about to get us, so maybe we just get an attack in before she goes. Wow. I didn't do much. Ugh. It's not a good situation currently. Because we are about to lose the Antiquarian. She's going to go. All is lost. Teetering on the brink. Facing the abyss. Those two are literally about to die of heart attacks. Can you use... No, you can't. If we could get the Vestal to have a go, she could at least heal them enough that they won't immediately die. Although I don't know if the Blight perhaps would stop that from happening. Oh, good. She's being a pain. Oh, cool. Excellent. All right. Well... We need you. We need you. You're very important. We need you. Okay, so the Vestal isn't going to heal anyone. Those two are about to die. Because I'm pretty sure Blight damage will be applied before the heart attack, which means... Um, 
how he would die anyway. Bestel's seconds from a heart attack. I think we're going to lose this. As yeah, no, she helps. straight up just went to death's door immediately. Terrible. Okay, well, we're going to lose three people in one go. Themselves. Wow, cool. And you died too. Okay, cool. Wow. All right. Uh, neat. Ah, oh, cool. I'm glad how that went. That was very good. Uh, oh, yeah, and another crit. Sure, why not? Yeah, with a stun as well. We must away. Yeah. A curse. It all is lost. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All is lost. She had two heart attacks. Yeah. <laughs> oh. In the end, we all die alone. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. It's over. There's nothing. It's time to go. <laughs> fuck the rabble. <laughs> they can fuck off. And there seems to be almost no reason to not have a man at arms in the group, seriously, because, like, fucking Bolster is godlike. That ability is incredible. Even if we ignore things like Bello, which is broken as fuck, Bolster is incredible. Like, it almost seems pointless to have a party in this game that does not have a man at arms using Bolster. Because that's 10 dodge for the rest of the battle, and less stress taken as well. Like, grind, minus 15% stress is not going to stop someone from going afflicted, but it slows down the rate of it happening, which wastes your opponent's time, which gives you more time to do stuff. If you combine it with, like, I don't know, fucking... Um... Retribution seems to do a pretty good job. If you get him a shield spike, he fucking bleeds people when that happens. And it also has a higher chance to crit, and apparently Retribution itself has a relatively high chance to crit. I mean, it seems to crit me a lot. I think I'll start playing with the Man at Arms because shit, there's just no reason to not use them. And the Antiquarian's good, but not perfect, of course. And I love the uh, Grave Robber. I don't want to get rid of her. Maybe, I'd say maybe replace our Vestal with the Man at Arms. That might be what I try next time. But let me know what you think, because there is a little bit of space in between these videos. So there will be time for you guys to put forward your suggestions and for me to take them on board before I do the next one. But I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. This has been such a pain in the ass to make this video purely because of the amount of technical issues I had. I honestly, I'm not even sure if it's my computer's fault. I don't think it did anything wrong. I think I just got really unlucky with this batch of footage because everything else I've been doing has been fine. And like the part 45 of Darkest Dungeon wasn't even my computer's fault. That was my fault. But I'll talk about that at length uh, another time. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Whatever happens next time, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I've got plans for next time. I'm thinking we can make something work. We can do something. I don't know. But whatever happens, I hope I see you there. Toodles. Goodbye.